guys and welcome back to Retro Pop 99. Today we have a video review of Puzzle Quest The Legend Returns for the Nintendo Switch. Now for my older gamers out there, back in 2007 this game was first released on the Nintendo uh, DS and the PlayStation Portable. I first played it on the PlayStation Portable and absolutely loved it. Uh, everybody that showed the game too back then thought it was crazy phenomenal as well. And um, let's see how it held up over those last 12 years. Um, first of all, if you're not familiar with the concept of this game, it is a match three game or a match four or five game. Um, basically, the more you match, the, pow the more powerful the item is released afterwards. Um, so, the concept is much like Bejeweled, but with one exception. Each match that you make um, levels up your, um, your magic your your mana basically and you see the three different the four different colors there on the on the title t the title screen as you match those up they contribute to your your uh, spell casting ability um and as you match up skulls those are what you use to attack your opponents with physical damage um and then you can also match up coins for uh for for which is money in the in the game and you use that money to buy you know different weapons and power-ups and so on and so forth so let's step into the game real quick and see what we got um, I've already started a quest. I'm going to start a new one just so you guys would like to create a character and all that fun stuff. So we go to new quest. I'm going to leave the name. It's the same. It saves some time. And you can choose from several different, um, <clears throat> several different, uh, characters and, you know, classes to, uh, to begin your game with. Um, knight, monk, paladin, priest. If you see the ones that are very hard or hard, they're usually the ones that rely on magic for the most part to, uh, defeat their enemies and, I've tried them before, and they're just really, really tough. Uh, the computer's no slouch. So I like to choose one of the uh, physical combatants, like the knight. So let's choose them real quick. You can also choose different uh, portraits as well. Um, let's choose this guy. He looks knightly, All right? So, okay. And now our quest begins. Um, there are no video cutscenes with this upgrade, even though the Switch... Could have handled such an upgrade, uh, but they definitely stayed true to their game, true to the original game. Uh, you see static screens with uh, speech bubbles when the characters talk to each other. I'm going to skip past the prologue here. So basically, the game centers around hubs or hub towns, and each town you go to, you have an option to get a quest, visit the citadel, visit the tavern for rumors and gossip, or you can go to the, the uh, shop to buy things. So we're going to get a quest real quick. And the first quest available in the game is Family Reunion. Let's we click on that. You have to go see the princess first. Then she'll release you to go see your uh, your dad. All right. Tells you where to go. I'll be on Syria. Okay. So I'm going to skip that. And now you're back to the main hub. And we got to find Syria on the map. And usually your, your, um, your, your goal... Or your next place to go is usually highlighted in like a flaming, you know, symbol there. So let's go to Syria. Here we go. We are there. Hello, Father. So you're going to talk here. Your dad's going to give you a busted shield to take with you. You'll need that shield for the first combat sequence. Now, it's just a practice dummy. So let's get there. We get quest again. Practice dummy accept. And here you'll see the main game board. <clears throat> Again, this game is unique from other match three games in that you have to actually match these puzzles, match these jewels strategically based on what spell you want to cast and so on and so forth. And as I said, as I said before, the uh, skulls are your combat. So each time you strike some, you match three or more skulls, you'll see your opponent on the top right there, his um, hit, hit points are de uh, decreased. So right now he has 17 of 20 left. I'm in the top left here. I've got 56 of 56 left. This dummy would not fight back, so we are free to pretty much try whatever we want. Um, and again, these colored jewels have different meanings, and you'll see as you match three, they're collected in the top left, right next to my character's profile, this profile image. <clears throat> now, this opening sequence is just to get you familiar with the game board, so we're going to try to crush this guy quick with um just by matching skulls in the beginning it'll tell you which ones you should match to um like a tutorial it'll highlight 
your options. And we just need some more skulls here. Come on, skulls. Come on, skulls. If you match four, you get a bonus. It didn't show it, though, until the next level. It'll tell you how to match four and why you should do it and so on and so forth. Because I just matched four and nothing happened there. Um, they're not giving me skulls. There was another match four and nothing happened. If you match four, you'd another turn, basically. Your turn doesn't end, so you want to try to find those match fours. Um, from what I remember, the computer is very adept at matching fours, so if you don't find them, they will, and you are pretty much done. If that happens too many times in the, in the, in the, on the game board. So I'm not going to keep going here. It's not giving me my skulls. We're just going <clears> to... <throat> We're going to wrap this up um, as far as this game board goes. So once you defeat the... Um, your, your opponent, the next screen you go to tells you what you've won or what you've earned in that, here we go, what you've earned or um, collected on that game sequence in that board, and then they're dumped into your chest. All right, here we go, another match. Uh, he's pretty strong for a dummy though, right? You can't use any, um, you can see over here, you have enough to cast a spell. But it won't let you do it. Oh, here we go. Now it works. There we go. It did work. Okay, great. And I can actually use that spell again, I believe. Right? Yeah, I can. But we want to use a skull. Because that gives us... There we go. Full power there. And we can actually use it again. Or can we? No. Why don't we do it again? Okay. I'm just trying to speed this first sequence up. Um, the vibration in this game has been kicked up a notch as well. I mean, the controller just goes crazy. You can hear it. I've got it right by the microphone so you can hear the vibration. And it's a pretty strong kick that these uh, controllers supply during this game, during the match sequences. Come on. Let's try this again. If you like match three games at all, you're going to want to pick this up. I love it. Um, just for the strategic aspect of it, you know, just matching gems blindly, there's actually a reason to do this strategically, and it just gives the, the match three genre a whole new twist. It really breathes new life into this concept, uh, and I, I absolutely love it. And are we done yet? No, he's managed rain. All right, so manage rain. Once there are no more matches available on the board. The board resets. Here we go. This guy's done for now. He's done. Yeah, he's done. All right. So here, <clears throat> you'll see your your um, your your spoils in, in battle and victory. And then if you if you as you gain experience points, which are these um, which are these purple stars, you can spend those points later on. You can spend these points to upgrade your character. And I think, that, yeah, here we go. If you use the left or right, uh, left or right uh, triggers, you'll, you'll you'll get to the um, spell upgrade screen, and then you can. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. All right. Sorry. Level up. Here we go. So, how many points do I have? I've got. Uh, I've got zero skill points. I didn't earn any skill points, really. Wow. All right. Well, at any rate. You'll earn skill points as you as you fight and win battles, and you can spend those later here to upgrade your character, right? So, there we go. Um, <clears throat> again, I love this game. You guys should check it out. If you've never played it before, get it for the Switch. only $9.99 on the eShop. There's no physical version because the game is so cheap to make. I mean, it's, it's just a, like a 212 megabyte game anyway. They're not going to make a cartridge for a game that small. Um, but if you've never played it before, grab it. You'll love it. I, I promise you'll like it if you like Magic 3 games and role-playing games. Um, so that's it for this review, guys. Hope you liked it. This is our first uh, chance to do a video review with a game capture card. So we are learning the ins and outs of the hardware and software. As we get better, the reviews will get better as well. Uh, so until next time, I will see you guys later.